Hello, Zebra Herd. I think it's time for a brand new Plants vs. Zombies adventure. As you can see, Crazy Dave is here with Patrice, sending her off to the bus. Wonder where she's going. Oh, what's that smell? Whoa! Something it's a taco! Uh-oh, well that zombie was messing with it. Eat me. I don't know if we should eat that taco. Oh, he did. Too late. Oh no, he's getting sleepy. And the zombies are coming. They're gonna get crazy, Dave. That's not good. All right, well, hello, Zebra Herd. Welcome to Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. This is technically the second time I've played the game because we played it way back when, a few years ago, when it was in an alpha slash beta form. And now the game is back. It's back into beta, but it's a whole lot different from when we first played it. So I'm really excited to get started with the series to see how the game is different and how much fun we have. So with that being said, let's get started with Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. Three months later. Oh no, this place is a mess. <laughs> what a summer. Hey, Uncle Dave, you won't believe how many friends I made at camp. Huh? Yikes, what happened to this place? Look at this mess. <laughs> ah, is that a zombie? They're back? But, but Neighborville has been zombie free for ages. Ah. I've got to protect Uncle Dave's house. Luckily, I always carry a few of Dave's seed packets for times like these. Brains. So it seems like they're incorporating characters from the comic series, that's really cool. Tap here to defend the lawn. Whoa, okay, so I guess we just play, we have a sunflower and a pea shooter, classic stuff there. So the original PVZ3 played a little oddly. I don't know if this is gonna play any different, but for right now it looks like classic PVZ. Tap or drag to collect sun. There you go. You need sun to grow plants, all right. We got a sunflower. Sunflower can help you get more sun to grow more plants. Sunflower costs two sun, let's plant one now. So of course, I'll just click and drag it over here. Or not, okay, wait, here? Okay, it wants me to put it there. Uh, offensive plants like pea shooter can help you fight the zombies. Collect enough sun to grow a pea shooter. I'm on it, so over time, the sunflowers will make some more sun and some will fall from the sky. So let's go ahead and put that behind the sunflower. And it looks like we're just protecting Dave's house here. So I wonder what happened to Crazy Dave. Was he turned into a to a zombie as well? That would be awful. So let's go ahead and put more sunflowers down. And if you've seen any of my other PVZ series, you can tell it's classic PVZ action so far. We put plants on the left, zombies come in from the right. That's pretty cool. So it looks like we can maybe put out more sunflowers if we wanted to. I feel like I should save it for more pea shooters. Whoa. Place sunflowers to produce sun. I'll do that over here and use your sunflowers to get enough sun for another pea shooter. I almost had it before, so uh, just one more sun. Yep, should do the trick, and a pea shooter right there. Watch the tracker to see when the final wave of zombies is coming. Defeat all zombies to win, and don't let the zombies reach the house. All right, so final wave approaching. Here we go. There's a lot of zombies coming in here. I will just get a little bit more sun but I think one pea shooter per lane seems to be doing enough. I do like how, you know, there are some variants in the, in the zombies like look and everything, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and put another pea shooter there. If I can get enough sun, I might be able to get another pea shooter on the top. We'll have to see. Okay, almost there, just a little bit more. Right there, we got it. Awesome, I think we'll be able to clear out this first level then without too much of an issue. There we go. Very cool, so we did it. The first level, long clear, awesome. Oh no, now there's gravestones? Okay, they gave us money. Never mind, that's good. <laughs> so cool. You earned a reward, 35 coins and one taco ticket? Cool. So there we go, our first level in Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. You found a taco ticket. Give me those tickets to help me find Uncle Dave. There, there is Faith. Indeed they are. So tap here to open your task list. Fix Crazy Dave's sign. Tap here to spend your taco ticket and help find Dave. Do it. If the zombies have returned to Neighborville, I'd better update Uncle Dave's zombie warning sign. Dave since last zombie attack, 685, whoa, it's been a while. 
tap a photo to preview the decoration. Oh, so we get to choose it. Whoa, so we get this welcome to Neighborville sign. Um, or this one, or this one. Ooh, I think I like this third one the most. So we can just tap the check mark to confirm our choice. Why hasn't Uncle Dave been updating the sign? Maybe he doesn't know the zombies are back. I should check for him at the house. Okay, well, I don't know if he'll be in there, but might as well check. Huh? No answer at the door. Now I'm really starting to worry. Where could he be? <laughs> what if the zombies finally got him? Where's my uncle, you rotten fiends? Oh no, <laughs> Whoa, there he is. All right, uh, earn more taco tickets by beating level. So I guess we're still in the hunt for Crazy Dave. Whoa, with this level, we also get the introduction of the walnut. Do they have like plant profiles or anything? It looks like not really. Okay, let's play this next level. This is so exciting. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a brand new PVZ game, so I'm just really excited. Uh, if those zombies get to Dave's house, it's over. Lucky for you, we've got Mo. Oh, hi, Mo. Oh, whoa, so Mo is like a lawn mower. Mo will automatically defeat the first lane of zombies to reach Dave's house. All right. But just for one lane? Is that how it works? I guess we'll find out. Um, for right now though, I definitely wanna get some sunflowers out as soon as possible so that we can produce more sun. That's usually the most important thing to get done is just the, the more we get sun, the more we can afford some other stuff here. I'll get a wanna over there just for some protection on each lane. And the final wave is already approaching, so let's try to get a pea shooter soon. Uh, all right, sun over there. I need two more pieces of sun, come on. Just a little bit more. This is a pretty quick final level of like zombies. Okay, there we go. And I'm sure we'll be playing a good amount of this game. I've played a lot of the previous PVZ games. I think I've done, you know, hundreds of episodes, if not thousands at this point, if you combine all the PVZ series we've done over the years. So I'm sure this one will have a lot of content in it, even if it isn't right now, if they only have a little bit now, I'm sure they'll be adding more over time. So I'll definitely be down to check all that out. But for right now, the zombies have made their way past the walnut. I'll put another one right there, maybe another sunflower just to get me some more sun. Okay, not bad. The other walnut is still being restored though, so I have to wait before I can put that down. Here we go. Another pea shooter should do the trick maybe. I'm a little nervous. Uh-oh, okay, we just barely made it through on that top lane. And there goes the bottom one as well. Long clear. All right, and a bunch of gravestones all over the place will get us a ton more coins. So I wonder what we spend the coins on. You've earned a reward, another taco ticket, and 40 coins. All right, so with that done, you found another one of Uncle Dave's taco tickets. Keep them coming. Will do. Tap here to open your task list again. Search for Uncle Dave. Tap here to give Patrice your taco ticket and see where she goes. Whoa, hey, there's Mo. Uh-oh, intruder alert, intruder alert, initiating defense maneuvers. Hey, watch it, you almost mowed my toes off. Incorrect password, access denied, prepare to be mulched. No, wait, I think we got off on the wrong foot. I'm Patrice Blazing, my Uncle Dave lives here. Patrice Blazing, I am Mo, I am pleased to mulch you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean pleased to meet you? Do not pre-mulch sequence engage. Oh no, do we have to fight you? Uh, we have to earn Mo's trust. So for doing that, we need another taco ticket. So I guess I'll just start the next level where we have more of the same here. You can tap here to get more information about your plant team. Try tapping on Walnut to learn more about him. I would love to. So Walnut blocks zombies, absorbing lots of attacks with this hard shell. Imperturbable. We also have the sunflower, generates the sun your plants need, photosynthetic, and then a pea shooter, shoots peas straight down the lane. Straightforward. Very cool. So use what you've learned so far to defeat the zombies. Don't forget, planting some flower gets you more sun. All right, ready, set, plant. Let's go for it. So we're already getting into the groove of this pretty quickly. I think on the top right here, we can press the speed up button, which as you can see, will make everything speed up a little bit. Um, I don't know if I wanna do that the whole time, but as we're getting used to the game, I'm sure we'll start speeding it up more and more. So I might go ahead just with like a walnut out here. The sooner the better, right? Um, and then maybe just like two rows of sunflowers would be pretty good. We don't have all five lanes available just yet. But I'll do that. 
Okay. And there's another one. I think I'll just keep with some flowers. Final wave is already approaching. They're stomping forward pretty quick. No, nothing has been on that top lane yet, which is interesting. Is there just not going to be? I suppose there isn't. Okay, I'll put that one right on top of you. Oh no, okay, here we go, here we go. Finally, a zombie showed up up there. Get one more sun for one more sunflower. And that should be pretty good. But if I were to put anything else down here, I'm guessing it should be a uh, another pea shooter for that middle lane. I think that's the one that needs it the most. We're about, we're about to see here in a moment. There we go. See, now we can speed through this pretty well. Awesome. So our third, fourth level done. We're zooming through. And I like with the lawn clear on the bottom right, you can sort of see some new plants there, or at least new plants that we don't currently have. Things like the bok choy and stuff. You earned a reward, 36 coins and one taco ticket. All right. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here. We can earn Mo's trust with this taco ticket. Please don't mulch me. Uncle Dave's password has gotta be, uh, Graggle? Incorrect password. Mulching target in five, four, three. Is it Blobble? Bloob? Blur Chammy? Grossel Plip? Wait, I know. Tacos! Password accepted. Safety parameters engaged. Pleased to meet you. Niece Patrice Blazing. Are we cool now? Because I've got a lot of questions. First off, where's Uncle Dave? Greater Dave is in a state of food-induced hibernation. Follow me to his charging station. Still? That's not good. Oh yeah, I see him now. He's under all the food. Creator Dave has been unconscious for 89 days, six hours, and 26 minutes. Sheesh, that's a long nap. Not even for Uncle Dave. Is he really under all that? Let's wake up Crazy Dave. Oh, I don't have enough taco tickets, so I guess I'll have to go on another level here where we have, whoa, the bamboo shoots. Shoots slowly, hits hard, devastating. All right, let's try the bamboo shoots out a little bit. Bamboo shoots may be slow, but he hits hard. So, obviously, takes a little bit of time, but they load up and fire away at those zombies and do some good damage. The blast from bamboo shoots knocks back the zombies, the zombie it hits, and hurt other zombies around them. All right. So they have a little bit of an area of effect there, which is pretty cool. I definitely wanna get a lot more sunflowers down, and we'll get out as many bamboo shoots as possible. Obviously, since they take so long to shoot, we'll wanna have a lot of walnuts out to protect us too, but I think for right now, sunflowers first might be the better idea. Because of how expensive bamboo shoots can be, I think it's just gonna be important to stay on top of that, but I guess we'll see here in just a moment. Okay, so that did hurt that other zombie a little bit. I'm gonna put a walnut there, and then I definitely wanna focus in on earning up this next bamboo shoot. So there's two sun, I need three more. Definitely pricey. All right, come on. I will say that the art is pretty good so far. I think that the previous version of PVC 3, it was a while ago now, but I'm pretty sure it had more 3D art. This is sort of going back to form with the 2D art, but it's still a lot more, I, I guess you could say like illustrated. I don't know exactly how to describe this difference, but I definitely like the look of it so far. I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, can we maybe afford one more bamboo shoot here? I would sure hope so. Just one more sun should do the trick. But it looks like this one bamboo shoot has been working on it regardless. There we go, boom. All right, so now we're making good sun again, but I don't know if we really need it too much. Okay, if you just fire away at that one. Okay, I think we're good then, awesome. We'll just speed up through this. Gotcha, there we go, another lawn clear. And with it, we get a couple of gravestones, which always seem to give us coins. I don't know if there's like a sort of rhyme or reason to where the gravestones pop up. But hey, the more the merrier. So, let's go over here and of course, wake up Crazy Dave. Whoa, Dave! <laughs> Wobbling around, <laughs> okay. Oh, the slap, that must've hurt. Well, when life gives you lemons, I guess you take a nap. Observation, no effect. I have found no way to wake Creator Dave. I have been mulching zombies to protect him for three months. The crunchy noises have not been loud enough to wake him. Huh? Hmm, Uncle Dave always wakes up when the ice cream truck drives by. Wait, that's it. I know how we'll wake him up. I can modify that ice cream truck siren. How loud do you think it'll go? Huh, 
Guess we have to go find out. So we need to build ice cream siren. Can I actually like move around here too? Whoa, we can really look around this. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff going on over here. It just keeps going and going. This is huge. All right, let's go jump to our level. It looks like more of the same here, but instead of sunflower, we have walnut, pea shooter, and bamboo shoot. So how will we get enough sun? I guess we'll have to wait and see. The more sunflowers you have, the more often you get sun. Of course, but without any way to place more sunflowers, we might be in a bit of trouble. And I feel like so far, this is the core difference between this game and PVZ 1 and 2, is that we don't get to choose which plants we have. The game will give it to us depending on the level. So that really does change up how the game is gonna work, I think. All right, I'll go ahead and put a pea shooter right there. As the final wave is already approaching, that was really fast. Uh, how do I wanna do this? I might just wanna put a bamboo shoot back here, just so that it can actually do the right amount of damage to everything. There we go. We just need one more pea shooter on the bottom lane. Which should be good. Cause it, it'll do the sort of group up down. It has like an area of effects. It'll hurt the zombies next to it. There we go. We have a full set of pea shooters too. So I think we're good with that. Just one more zombie to knock out. And I think we'll be fine. So I'll speed this one up again, just for the sake of it. And boom, got it. So there we go, long clear. We did it again. Only three gravestones this time, but it was still a decent chunk of coins, 34 in total. Let's keep moving. Oh, I can also break the level. Whoa, rating the level. Did that give me extra coins? I don't think so. I thought, I think it just activated them. All right then, so daily login reward. Play every day to earn rewards. It looks like this time we got 100 coins and 30 minutes of infinite brains, I think. Gotcha. So there we go. Got that right over there. Which we were already maxed out. You've just gotten an Infinite Brains power up. While it's active, you won't lose a life if you fail a level. That's good to know. All right, um, what's going on over here then? Build Ice Cream Siren, let's do it. Oh, we get to choose it too. So we have either this one, this one, or this one. I think I like this one the most. It's, it's, it's the most like flower theme. Is it charged up by potatoes? on the bottom there, that's cool. All right. Honk. Ice cream time. It looks like Dave's all woken up. Hmm, where am I? Patrice Wyatt Gracker, are you home for summer camp already? You've been asleep for three months. Oh, so where's the ice cream? There is no ice cream. Uncle Dave, the zombies are back. Look around. They thrashed your, they trashed your place. Chumble Bunga, when did this happen? How did this happen? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe there's a clue hiding under all this junk on the lawn. All right, so I guess we have to look around to find out, but yeah, Dave looks really interesting in this game. I feel like his, his design's a little bit different. All right. What do we got this time? It looks like the classic combo of sunflower, walnut, and pea shooter. Let's go for it. Zombies with headgear take longer to defeat. Of course, we're pretty familiar with that. Right now we have cone heads, but we've seen in previous PVZ games, there's also like bucket heads and different zombies like that. But it looks like for right now, it's giving us all the pea shooters we need. And it was just sort of showcasing that the cone heads take more time to defeat. But we'll have to plant some more stuff here as soon as possible. We started with a lot of pea shooters, but we still have to place a couple more. So as we're getting into this level, I would love to hear if you've had the chance to try out PVZ3. As of recording this first episode, the game isn't available everywhere. It's only available in a few select countries, but obviously I was able to get the chance to play just by changing my device's country. So that luckily worked out for me. But also, um, I'm, guessing it's intended to eventually become available everywhere in the world eventually. So I would love to hear if you've had the chance to play it. And if so, what are your thoughts on it? Do you think it's a good um, rendition of PVZ3, especially if you've played the previous ones before? So far, I'm enjoying it. I thought the original PVZ3 that I played was fine, but I definitely got a little burnt out on it pretty fast and just wasn't really looking forward to getting back to it. So I never really ended up doing that. But this version feels a little bit more interesting to me. So hopefully we can keep with it for a bit. I definitely think I will. So let's go ahead and put some sun down wherever I can. And uh, we gotta afford another pea shooter for that top lane here in a moment, I think. 
But I'm also a little bit worried about needing a walnut down below. We'll have to wait and see. For right now, I'll just do that. Okay, one more sun. Put it right here. There we go. We should be safe. Some sunflowers here might perish. We'll have to wait and see. Oh boy. Come on, just one more sun to get another pea shooter. That's it, that's it, awesome. Ooh, we do lose a sunflower, unfortunately. That's our first time losing anything that isn't a walnut, but it is what it is. There we go, okay, we're fine. That should be this level done. There you go. So level six of Dave's house all finished up, the lawn is clear. Whoa, that is a ton of gravestones. Wow, we got 48 coins for it. And of course, another taco ticket. So with that done, what do we do now? We go over here and we search for clues. Let's do it. So we're just looking around for any kind of clues. Crazy Dave finds a clue while clearing the clutter. Whoa, it's really clear. The Neighborville time, zombies return. Eerie fog engulfing Neighborville. Oh my. Look what I found, Patrice. The, this newspaper was purgled two days after you left for summer camp. Zombies return to Neighborville. Huh? It says here that the purple fog all over town has a strange mind-numbing effect on people. That sounds like Dr. Zomboss's evil handiwork. Oh no. Whoa, mission accomplished. Z-Fog cover reaches 99%. Oh no, Dr. Z celebrates the near total subjugation of Neighborville. Human brains, most of them have been captured, but only some are at large, including Patrice's and Dave's were at large. Here's another one, the Daily Brains? It says here that he, that using his new Z-Fog technology, Dr. Zomboss has taken over Neighborville and renamed it Zomburbia. We've got to get rid of that nasty fog and take back our town, but how? <laughs> using some kind of Bibi Cobblecoot gizmo. I'll wager, and a whole lot of help from our floral friends. <laughs> our little plant buddies had better be ready for anything. Let's set them up, set up some training dubbies on the lawn and get some practice in. All right, whoa. That was spooky. Uh, new task, place training dummies. Okay, how exactly do I do that? Do I need another ticket? I need another ticket. All right, well, let's play another level then and see how this one goes. Once again, the classic combo of the three plants we've been using the most throughout today. Ready? Set, plant. So we're already starting with two bamboo shoots and a walnut, so that's pretty nice. Let me get the sunflower out as soon as I can. We don't wanna waste any time with that after all. Um, and I think we'll just focus on that for as long as possible. There we go. I feel like this game gets going a lot faster. The zombies pop up way sooner, but with that, the levels are a whole lot shorter. Okay, so the first zombie's popping up in front of a walnut. Luckily, I'll probably wanna get pea shooters in the lanes where there aren't bamboo shoots, just to sort of even everything out a little bit more. Okay, get that there. And then, that was pretty good. Maybe a walnut here, just because the bamboo shoots do sort of fire a little slowly. Okay, I need a pea shooter right over there so we can get a little bit more sun. Got it. And... There it is, right here. I mean, that might be a bad idea in hindsight. I should have probably put it a little farther back. Maybe I put a sunflower there just to eat up some time because I'm a little nervous. Okay, wait, 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 why not? There we go. That should keep the pea shooter protected for a bit longer. Now I need to do the same thing on that top link. So you can see this gets complicated fast. I'm not careful. Uh, pea shooter there. And then I guess I'll just get a sunflower over here. I just need more sun and I need it soon. Just so that I can deal with that one zombie. Okay. Uh, come on, got it, got it. There we go, we're safe, we're fine. Maybe I'll put another pea shooter right up there so that we can get rid of that cone head a little bit faster. So this one's been a little messy so far, but I think we're doing it, I think we're making it happen. I'll do another sunflower as a huge wave comes in. And we don't have the shovel yet, so we can't dig up plants just whenever we want. It's a little complicated. Uh, I'll do another one here. Got it. And then maybe just to be safe, I'll just do that. Get another one up. And then another pea shooter up. That should be enough for us for sure. So if I speed this up from here, is that enough? It is. We did great. Long clear. Awesome. So, bunch of gravestones out of that one as well. 
we will get 39 coins. That's a pretty decent reward. Let's keep it moving. So now that we've done that, we can go back over here to day one and place our training dummies. Let's do it. Whoa. So do I, oh, I get to choose. So we have all these zombies. Some of these look like new zombies. Like I don't know what that one is with the purple ball with the star on it. Hmm. Gargantua, Buckethead, Imp, those are some classics right there. I think we'll go with the classic zombies, especially since some of these are definitely gonna be tough zombies to take on. It might be good to sort of keep note of it. Start training against them. Stand back, Patrice. Let's see what these plants can do. Whoa, pea shooter and sunflower powering up, taking on all the dummies. That's so cool. I love the comic book style to everything. Declaration of victory. Creator Dave, your plants are in fighting shape and ready for zombie destroying duty. We still need a way to clear out all the Z fog if we want to reclaim our town. Any bright ideas yet? I could build a huge tornado machine and wipe all that Grack and jump chum right off the face of the earth. Huh? Along with most of Neighborville? Too risky. What else he got, Uncle Dave? Um, I could build a, um, a lemonade stand. Huh? A lemonade stand? That cleans up toxic fog somehow? No, no, it just has lemonade. I can't think straight when I'm thirsty. I don't know if lemonade really quenches thirst, but maybe we can give it a try. It's time for a lemonade break. Let's go ahead and do a level so we can earn up another um, taco ticket. This time we got the addition of the bamboo shoot coming in here. So four plants in total. As time passes and zombies are defeated, this meter fills up. When this meter fills, it activates Grapes of Wrath. Whoa. Grapes of Wrath launches explosives, explosive grapes at zombies. Whoa. Okay. Cool to see it. Very intense. Ready, set, plant. All right, so I guess we have the Grapes of Wrath out here too. Can I put a Sunflower? Or, oh no, that pops it. Okay, shouldn't have done that, but good to know. Um, we'll just do what we can to earn up some sun in the meantime before these zombies start popping up all that much. Because I guess the Grapes of Wrath definitely gives us an advantage here, but I just want to make the most of it by getting a ton of Sunflowers out. Because our first zombie here should be able to get exploded, right? I mean, I, I would think this would be like a one-hit takedown, but maybe it won't be. I don't know, I'm a little nervous now. Uh, I guess we'll see soon enough. But I can't at least, yeah, work on getting a pea shooter over there. And then more sunflowers, just like that. I definitely want two sets of sunflowers, so it's not enough to defeat you all the way. Oh no, okay, so I put that there. And then I'm just gonna get a pea shooter out as soon as I can because that is not good. I thought it would be enough to defeat the zombie entirely, but the zombies seem to have a lot of health in this game and I haven't done anything yet for over there. Uh, did I even click that? I don't know if I did. Maybe I did. Huh, okay. Good to know, it might be a little bit easy to accidentally hit. There we go, we got the three pea shooters. Got a little dicey there for a moment, but we figured out a way through. Okay, at this point, I think it's just time for more walnuts wherever we can get them. I would have loved to have more space for more uh, pea shooters and of course bamboo shoots there, but I just didn't really quite get the planet out like that. We still could, especially since, is this the last zombie right here? It might be. Oh, that was, okay, that was a surprisingly easy level. We didn't even need the bamboo shoots, but there we go, we got through it. A ton of gravestones again, and he is all the way up to 41 coins. Nice, whoa, what is that? Uh. I'm not sure, but we got four of it. Let's continue. I guess we'll see what that is later. I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, we have enough of the tickets for a lemonade break. Whoa, okay, so we have this first lemonade stand, or this one, or this one. Ooh, I really like that one. Let's go with this one. I like how we have the options to customize things and sort of make it our own. Ah, that's good lemonade. My brain feels lemony, fresh. Back at Dr. Zomboss's lair. Whoa, Tugboat, where have you been? Tugboat, for three months? When I sent you to sedate Crazy Dave with that snoozy taco, I specifically told you not to eat the leftovers. Tugboat, he's awake? How is that possible? No matter, Dave and his detestable plants will never stop me. 
not without some kind of enormous flying fog vacuum. What a preposterous idea. A flying fog vacuum? Eureka! I'll build an enormous flying fog vacuum. Awesome, but how are we supposed to build that thing? I've got everything we need out back in my workshop. Let's go. All right, so day one is complete. We made it through and we were able to clean up Crazy Dave's front lawn a little bit, so that was cool. Uh, what's going on over here? Whoa, yeah, it's just like a little update. That is so cool, and it's lunchtime. You got a task award. Let's claim our prize right here. And we get 250 coins as well as 15 minutes of brain time. Interesting. All right, so I guess the goal now is just to uh, continue, continue with day two, start a new day, all that kind of stuff. Interesting, uh, I'll do this later. <laughs> So it looks like obviously there's a lot going on in the game right now. We also have day two here, come back tomorrow to earn this reward. Yeah, so if we keep logging on every day and we keep playing, I guess we'll get more and more stuff. But I think this was a fantastic introduction to the game. So I'll probably do one day per episode because that seems like a pretty good pace to me. I had a lot of fun with that one. Definitely let me know if you want to see more of this game because I'm having fun and I hope you guys are too. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomverbia. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.